Let's go from the beginning here. There is no sound. The parent comes in to save the day. Cool. All right, all right, all right. So let's go back. Definitely have a different idea. I'm wondering a couple things. I think this is, it definitely has cool ideas. I love this. I love this last shot. Watch out just for posing that it's not like he feels very straight, very straight through there. So it could be something where it's just, it's a bit more, it might be even like in a, in a triangle pose and you know, maybe elbow up a bit more so that the staff, the spear is a bit more in a diagonal. It's going to be more um, dynamic when it's in a diagonal. I like this, that it's fighting against it. My question is, since he is about to attack, why does he stop? I think you would have to do something where he is almost in the middle of it, like around here. And then and you have a couple stones here. You know, some bushy things and stones. And then, big shake that moves the stones around. And then he kind of stabs almost past it. Because right now, he stops for no reason. There's nothing that makes him stop. Suddenly, he looks over there. But then, why? It, it's a delayed reaction. I mean, like, there's nothing that really stops him. So, for me, it would be, as he's about to do it, a big tremble... And that's what throws him off. He might even take like a little stumble step and go like, what, what's going on? And looks around and realizes, oh crap, this is, this is probably not a good idea. That would be idea one. And then idea two is that I'm just wondering, fists together, head away from this, to me is almost too human. If that makes sense. It's not to me an animalistic response to this. Like, does this creature know what this weapon is, what it can do? So to me, it almost would be you do this and then you got that big stomp. And then because it stumbles, or because the creature, this character here, stumbles because of the big shake, it passes past the guy here. And with like a and then maybe even bites into it. You mean like it's almost like bites onto it and he's kind of struggling going, oh man, this, this rumble made me miss and now I'm struggling with this guy. But now I'm looking over and this guy looks over uh, and kind of lifts the head. So then you have something like this and he holds on to the staff. And then it's less of him going, I'm going to throw my staff away. It's basically just, I'm going to let go while the dinosaur you know, holds the staff still. So he's really, it's not even his choice to lose this. This guy has the upper hands, the parent comes in, and this guy runs away. That would be the second thing. And the third thing, this feels a bit soft. Krong, krong. Those steps feel a bit soft, especially, or especially, depends if you're going with the, with the shockwave idea here. Um, but then I would definitely make this a lot stronger and have it, you know, the stones would, you know, tremble a bit. This could tremble a little bit. Definitely a bit stronger. And then what I would do is instead of this down, when he runs away, that's okay. But I would go down and then it goes up. Meaning that at this point, it's up here. I'm towering over my child because I am protecting it. And now that I know that that red creature is gone, I'm going to go down to be close to it, to protect it again in, in terms of proximity, if that makes sense. It's a lot of, if that makes sense, a lot of subjective thoughts, but um, that's what I would have. And actually, I don't mind the overlap here. It's almost they become one, you know, as, as a one protective unit there. So I do like that. But again, subjective thoughts. I think overall it's definitely much better. It's a cool, it's a cool setup. Like the camera, like the sets. I like that we have contrast and all that stuff in terms of size and actions. I think this is really cool. The complex turn. So lots of cool stuff. So yeah, as always, totally up to you how you want to interpret and you know take those notes and whatever you want to use with it. And that's that. All right, thanks. All right. 
there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.